Hi everyone, I'm Christine and welcome back to my sewing studio. Today I'm actually going to be working on my signs that I bought from Goodwill. Um, I bought a lot of signs. They were all, well this one was only $3 to begin with at Target. <laughs> this one is now $2. Um, basically I am recoloring them, I'm repainting them all. I'm going to be repainting them and then I will be using my Cricut machine to make new signs. So these are all of my um, signs that I got from Goodwill. Um, I mean, yeah, some of them, like these little guys are really cute, but nobody wanted them. So I am going to prime those for sure because they're really shiny. Um, I mean, look at these signs. They're, how do you read that sign? <laughs> I also bought a couple frames this is where I get all my frames from Goodwill. And if I don't like them, I repaint them so that I can use them. The frames are so expensive. So first of all, I need to figure out what signs I'm going to make. I actually have a list of the signs that, that I ended up selling at um, the Grandview Craft Fair last year. So um, I know the more popular ones and um, I gotta figure out the sizes I want, what I want to have said on them, obviously. Uh, do I want it Christmas? Do I want it just um, a random sign? So I will be using the Cricut website. Um, I'm not sure if it's called Cricut Maker. The Cricut Maker, I believe, is the Cricut machine I have. But um, I will be going through that and figuring out what kind of signs I'm making. So I have gone ahead and figured out which each sign is going to be. I made little notes on a little sticky notes everywhere because it is hard to keep track, especially when you're doing this many signs at one time. Um, I also primed them. So I have used Martha Stewart, this little primer, Martha Stewart Crafts primer. Um, it's pretty much gone. I didn't have much, so I basically only did one coat per sign. I forgot to do that big black sign over there, which that's gonna take a couple coats of paint because I forgot to prime it. Um, now what I'm gonna do, I wanted to prime it because it does take a little bit to dry. And I think what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and start painting a base coat. So again, I can let it dry. A lot of them are just going to be white signs. Um, I think I might have one gray sign I like to do white only because it matches with everybody's decor usually. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do one base coat per sign and then start working on the labels. Okay, so I have gone through and I've started painting everything now um, because again, it takes a while for them all to dry. <laughs> Stuck to it. Most of them are white. Um, I do have one that I wanted gray and I accidentally painted it white. Um, now what I'm doing is going onto my Cricut or on my computer, it is actually the Cricut Design Space. The Cricut Maker is the machine I have. The Design Space is where you can get all the projects. Now, um, there are a lot of free things on there, but um, I ended up subscribing to the monthly thing so I can get anything. Um, I don't know. There are a lot of free things, but of course the things that I wanted weren't free. So instead of paying $4 for a font, which is stupid, um, it ended up just working out. Now, I do have a tip for you. I mean, this Cricut stuff can be very confusing, especially the vinyl. The vinyl, it you cut it out, then you've got to transfer, then you transfer it to the thing. I mean, there's a lot of steps on it. And there are so many Cricut rolls of things that you can buy. It is overwhelming. So what I did, the, the everything I've learned, I learned from um, a website or a, a lady, her name is Jennifer Maker. And actually I'm gonna put um, a link. I think I could put a link to her. I think I can put a link to her website. If not, I'll put it in all the comments. So Jennifer Maker has her own website and she um, 
has a ton of different videos on there. She will walk you through all of this. So what I've done, <clears throat> there's one, like this is one of my signs. First, what I do is I cut it out on regular paper first. And I have a ton of this orange paper. So I usually use the orange and then I can lay it out on the sign to make sure it looks good. So this one is, you can see part of it. It's just, just another wine drinker with a, and this is going to say camping problem. And it, so it's going to have a camping word and then it's gonna have a little camper right here. And that's gonna be one of my signs. But what I did is I just cut out the main part of it so then I can lay it down on my sign and make sure it fits. Um, instead of cutting out all the words on vinyl and then realizing it's not going to fit. So that's what I'm doing right now. I have also another one. I have this sign. It was the carrot, it had carrots on it. So I've painted it white. I've outlined it in red and I'm going to do this one. It's, it's backwards. It says Christmas calories and then down here it'll say don't count. So I've got at least the idea of the size so that I'll know that it'll fit. And then I can start cutting it out after I've painted all of them. So you've got to, you know, do a couple coats of paint. It's good to let the paint really dry. I've done that before where I don't let it dry so much. And as I'm painting, it gets all smeary. So that's why all day now I have been painting and making coats and coats and coats of paint. So I am ready to start cutting the vinyl. I have oops, big mess on my table, as you can see. I've got my red vinyl. Uh, so my, my red vinyl is actually made to go directly into the Cricut, um, but I've never done that. I don't know, it just doesn't seem like it's gonna lay flat. So I'm using my green mat for the vinyl. So I lay it down. And actually, I know Cricut sells these, but I found this at Goodwill. It's actually a pastry roller, I think. <laughs> so I use that to roll down the vinyl, make sure it sticks. Good morning, everyone. I'm back at it again. Um, it's now Sunday morning, and I wanted to just show a couple of the signs I've printed out. This one is a little bit flaky. Um, some might say that's me. But anyway, I printed these out on the Cricut, and I took the background out, which they call weeding. Here is my sign I was telling you about. It's just another wine drinker with a camping problem and there's the camper and the wine bottle okay so i'm going to transfer this uh, vinyl onto my board um, i took everything else off this is the i wanted to do the camper first because this guy goes in the corner then i can kind of spread everything out from there so i take this transfer paper or transfer sheet and um, transfer tape, sorry. And unfortunately, I'm running out of it, so I'm going to have, I won't be able to finish all my boards today. But um, what I do, you place your vinyl that you've cut out on top of it. You want to make the transfer a little bit bigger. I think this is flipped this way. You want to make the transfer tape a little bit bigger than your vinyl, and actually, it doesn't even look like it's going to fit. So you cut out the transfer tape, and now I'm going to take apart this and put it on top of that. I have taken the transfer tape off the back of this, placed it on top of my vinyl. Um, be careful when you pull the transfer tape off of this because the transfer tape rips very easily. So now what you want to do is you're going to, let's see if you can see this, Put this over here. So now what you're going to want to do is you want your vinyl to stick to the back of the transfer tape. So I could start pulling this away because now we're going to take off 
the backing behind the vinyl. So you just start peeling it away like that. So now you've got this sticker, basically. You've got the sticker on the back of the vinyl along with the transfer tape. So I take my board and um, I know that there's no hook, so I'm okay with lying this either way. And now I have to place my camper where I want it. I know it has to be down in the bottom corner. Um, I'm gonna take this tool and now I want the vinyl to obviously stick to the wood. So I run this back and forth. And be especially careful with these little dots. Um, anything little doesn't stick very well and you'll pull it up and all of a sudden you're missing a dot. You're missing a handle to a door. And there you go. After I'm done painting all of them, um, sticking all the vinyl on them, I want to make sure they're protected, so I actually go outside and I spray them with this stuff. It's Rust-Oleum. Rust um, it's supposed to stop rust. You can see that. It's a matte clear enamel. Um, I spray it a couple times on the one front and a couple times on the back. Let them sit outside. Make sure you do it outside. Um, I found that works the best. I also have Mod Podge that I've read is good to use. I have used this <clears throat> on some of my signs, <clears throat> but when I have this shiny vinyl and I uh, paint this on the sign because it is painted on, um, you have to make sure you don't get it clumped up. But when I paint it on the shiny vinyl, the vinyl's not shiny anymore. So, um, you know, I don't know, I don't really like it very much. So I've, I've just been spraying it with this. Um, I did forget to point out the paint I used. I've been using this Mondo Mama. Um, I found this at Target. It's an acrylic paint. Basically, I use acrylic paint. Um, I also use a lot of this <clears throat> Deco art. And I have a ton of this folk art. There are a lot of these paints at Joann's. Um, it, like I said before, it's completely overwhelming when you go in there. This is a multi-surface um, acrylic paint. And um, yeah, those are basically the paints I use. I have finally finished my signs. So this took, um, let's see, last weekend, I did it on a Saturday and Sunday, and then yes, all day yesterday, which was Saturday. So it did take three days for me to paint everything um, lay out the vinyl and get it stuck. So I've got just another wine drinker with a camping problem. You had me at Merlot. You could tell where I like my signs. Christmas calories don't count. A little bit flaky. Let's get lit. And then I've got Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Christmas sign, Christmas time, mistletoe and wine. I like dog bones and I cannot lie. Enjoy to the world, the wine is served. Yes, it's all about wine and Christmas, but um, that's, that's what I like. So um, I painted the fronts and then also I painted the backs of all of them, at least most of them. And I do um, stick my CF Design sticker on there. Actually, it's a vinyl cut also. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's difficult or it is difficult for me to show what I'm doing on my computer and show it be cutting. And so I, I'm, I'm sorry if I didn't go through as much detail as I thought I would. Um, I, again, I do recommend checking out Jennifer Maker. Uh, she's, she goes through everything. Um, and of course the Cricut website, they have all the steps as well. Also, please like and subscribe to my channel and I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you soon.